Welcome to the next session of the layout editor. In this section, we will quickly talk about some additional tools that you can use to visualize statistics in the layout editor. This tool in particular is called the plate tool. And uh, you can invoke the layout editor again by clicking on the L button in your workspace. This will open up a sheet that will open up usually towards the right of your workspace. Now, in order to use this tool, you have to be in the uh, layout editor um, uh, module. And at the top of the layout editor, sort of the sheet, uh, you will notice a series of tools. And it's about the fourth or the fifth one from the left there. It's labeled plate tool. It looks like, you know, a grid with four holes in it. You go ahead and click on that button and then go ahead and click and drag in the layout editor itself. This will create a box for you. And then from here, what you want to do is you need to feed this statistics in order to be able to visualize them. So we go back to the workspace here. I have a series of statistics. You will notice that underneath the interferon positive population, I've got an MFI and I've got some CVs and standard deviations, etc. So if you'd like, you can go ahead and drag the gambit of statistics that you have directly into that plate and it'll go ahead and give you a, a split heat map in this case. But as you noticed, I dragged in three statistics and what is being displayed here are only two. So if we actually click on the plate tab here in the properties pane, so sometimes the properties pane may be collapsed. Uh, you may have to expand that menu when you are working with the plate tool. But you will notice in the plate tab here, there are a series of uh, boxes. Each one of these lines actually is telling you which statistic uh, is active. In this case, it's the MFI of interferon. The next statistic that is being shown is the robust CV of interferon. And then the, one, the third one that's grayed out is the robust standard deviation. So we're really only looking at right now the median and the robust CV. You can turn only two statistics on at a time in the heat map version. So if you go to the grayed out section, you can see here that it says none. If you go ahead and select heat map or heat map upper half, if you say heat map, it'll do the lower half. If you do upper half, obviously it'll do the top half of the, uh, of the statistic. Now, in my opinion, visualizing statistics on a split heat map can be a little bit different, difficult. So what I like to do is simply use the plate tool one by one. So again, I go and click on that plate tool icon, then I click and drag in the layout editor here just so that it's big enough for me to see and to target when I drag a statistic over. Now, if I'm interested in the MFI of interferon, I'm gonna go ahead and simply drag that statistic, only that one, and dump it into the workspace here or into the layout editor, sorry. So the layout editor here, you can see um, a nice even heat map, and it makes a little more sense to me. Row A, in my case, happened to be my non-stimulated sample. Row C is a later stimulation, around 20 minutes, and then row B and D represent my one hour and two hour stimulation. So I can clearly see that in the one hour time slot and the two hour time slot, I certainly have upregulation of interferon. And I can contrast this to some of my other statistics or other populations. So again, click on that plate tool, then click and drag somewhere else, create that plate. I can contrast this maybe to the phospho ERK population that I was also interested in. I'm gonna move this guy just a little bit off towards the left, and then so I can drag that in and see it. You can clearly see in this case that my phospho ERK stimulation the high point is around the 20 minute, and then after an hour or two hours, the signal dampens. So in my opinion, it's a little bit easier to visualize statistic by statistic using a, a single plate for each of those stats. However, there is no limit as to, um, well, I should say there is an upper limit of 11 statistics total per plate. But again, if you're using the heat map option, you can only visualize them two at a time. However, there is a mode change for the heat map here. So instead of looking at it as a heat map, you can change this over to a Chernob face. This will make 
a face, a human face that you can tether your various statistics to. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and tether eye size and eyebrows and maybe a mouth size and a grin and maybe the, the nose as well, different statistics. So this is rather silly, but uh, I don't know. I suppose it's probably something that you could present for lab mating or something similar. In any case, thank you for listening.